Okay, so uh, today we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove this radiator. It's the Skunk Alpha radiator. Um, we're gonna reuse this on my son's EF. Uh, he's got a 91 Civic DX with a 90 Integra LS swap on it. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is one, that's what we bought this car for. It's parts car. But, you know, we are going to rebuild this car. Uh, it's going to be a project car. But, that being said, we're going to use a half size radiator. So we'll have more room on this side. Because once we're done rebuilding the motor, we're probably going to go boost. Because boost is life. And this is single overhead cam. It's a single jingle, so it's gonna need a lot of help. Even though I would have loved for this motor to run, so we could have squashed the debate of which is faster, an LS, you know, a stock LS or single overhead VTEC. So anyways, let's get going. Uh, this is gonna be a quick two minute Remove the radiator because it's already the hose is already unplugged. I just gotta unplug the fan and that. So let me get my tools. Hopefully there's no holes in this radiator. You know, he said the, the old radiator got a hole on it. That's why it overheated. And he bought this radiator to replace it, but damage was already done to the motor. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm hoping this radiator doesn't have any hole. Well, it looks new for what it's worth. Let me remove you off of here. I'll tell you right now. Don't do this kind of shit. See how the clamp is up here? That's a zip tie. Why? So. Yeah, don't. Please don't do that kind of stuff. So there's the radiator. Uh, it looks new. There's some wet spot, but might have been from just bowl over. So let's go get the other car. Let me push this out of the way real quick. I'll be right back. This is my son's EF. As you can see, it's got a 90LS swap on it. Uh, it's all stock, uh, you know, we in California where you got to smog your car. So this is all stock. Um, be nice, you know, radiator's going to be replaced. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get removing this radiator. I got to drain it and then remove it. So keep you guys updated. All right, let's get going. All of a sudden, it was time to get sunny. And now it's starting to get cold again. Holy shit, make up your mind. You know, anybody wondering as far as what what our plans for this car are, it's pretty much it. Um, if you follow my son's page, he likes to go toge or you know, he calls it toggy, I call it canyon running. Um, he likes to do those things with this. 
Um, we're scheduling a couple track events and autocross this year. So he'll be doing that. Um, what else? Man, this, I forgot how tight the EFs were. Said. We have, we, you know, we have, a, we're scheduling a couple. I think in, in April, in March, he'll be drag racing. He'll probably take the GSR if it's done. If not, he'll take this again. Uh, I took this to winter warm ups this past January. Yeah, it's still January. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see his pass. Um, not doing anything in February as it's cold. We were gonna go to Laguna Seca. I believe it's Laguna Seca or Thunder Hill. They have one scheduled for February, but February, the hit or miss, you just don't know if it's raining or not. And usually those events, rain or shine. I mean, if it's raining, put your rain tires on, I guess. Uh, it's not like drag racing events where they cancel it if it's raining. So him being young, you know, still green um, I'd rather not have him go through rain yet I mean rain is kind of fun sometimes but I'd rather not you know have him get some more practice on dry roads uh, we should swap this out this is um, so yeah March uh, I believe there's a Laguna Seca on March I'm not sure I know in April there's Sears Point, both track and autocross. He might just do the autocross. Um, then I gotta look at the schedule of April. I'm pretty sure there's something in June and July. So we'll see. Okay, unplug this. All right, folks, there you have it. Radiator's out. Uh, okay, I got the new radiator ready to go in. Uh, I went ahead and transferred the blue hose, the silicone hose, too. So that way, it will take care of pressure. So let's plug this thing in. Okay, got the radiator in. Let's go put some water in it and pressure check, you know. Check it for leaks. Make sure everything works. tied in there. Uh, I have a slight thing right there. I might where it is right now takes it all off there. So it's fine for now. Uh, so looks like we're gonna be good. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. This is my son's car. He has his own channel it's called Bootleg Garage and he works on it. I'm gonna link his channel in the description. Because normally I let him work on his own car or you know, we all help each other out, but he usually like 
like to do things you know on his stuff so he can learn uh, but being this is a radiator and his you know they've got school now it's gonna be busy for the weekend and it's only Tuesday right now um, I didn't want this radiator hanging around possibly getting a you know getting a hole on it because something dropped on it it got kicked who knows the dog decided to play with it so I decided you know it's only gonna take about 20 minutes to go ahead and put it in so but we're gonna take more stuff off of that car uh, probably, well, my next step in that car is probably take the motor out. Uh, but then I'll probably also take the sway bars and he can put it on this car. Here, let me give you a quick walk around in the car. Uh, it's got some 15 inch brakes. It's got Integra, you know, DA brakes all around. Um, interior is clean. It's got Integra front seats with some serious stain on it. But the back seat, the back seat is fine. Um, show you what's wrong with the dash that's why we're replacing it uh, if you notice I don't know if you can see there's a crack right there um, this doesn't even bolt on no more this and the thing it's the tab are all broken so hope you guys can hear me other than that the car is clean it's original paint it's got a lot of dents on it but you know we don't want to paint a car that's original paint is still okay it's got magna flow exhaust with just you know two and a half inch piping all around oh yeah he does love to skate this girlfriend you know. so, there you have it folks uh, it's on yeah, by the way it's on a it's an ff2 type one suspension uh, and then we're going to put the spare bar next so this is going to be his track build his GSR which is right here still waiting you know still waiting on some parts for the motor uh, he should be doing I keep asking him but he should be doing the ABS delete I think he also wants to strip the engine bay and we're going to repaint it before we put a motor in it I don't know but you know in a couple days it'll be February then it's March. I know he wants to take this to March Mayhem and CMI in Sacramento. So we'll see. I guarantee you the last week he's going to be rushing his ass trying to finish this car because he wants to make that event. So, but yeah, uh, this is now done. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it run for a little bit, make sure there's no leaks, uh, bleed, bleed the cooling system. But that's pretty much it on this install. Uh, see you next time. All right.